Data Control Language, or DCL as it's abbreviated, is used to control access to data in a database. It consists of the grant and revoke commands, which are used to give or remove access to users to database objects such as tables, views, stored procedures, and so on. So let's cover the syntax for granting a user access to a table in a schema. You type grant or revoke, and then the command privileges you want the user to be able to perform such as select, update, insert, delete, etc. followed by the on keyword and then the schema and table name. You then type to or from and then the user. The table below shows you a list of some of the privileges you can grant and revoke. Select means the user can select records from the data. Insert means the user can insert records into the table. Update allows the user to make updates. Delete allows the user to delete the table or records from the table. All means the user can have access to all of the privileges, including all of the ones mentioned previously. We're in my SQL editor. I have two user accounts, one root user and one user called user1. They're both connected to the local host, so my host name will be localhost. The host name defines the location of the MySQL server and database. So when you type the user in the grant or revoke statement, you specify the user and the host that this user is connected to. So for user1, it would be user1 at localhost. Enclose the username and host name in single quotes. In my schema one schema, I have a table called emp, which is a table that contains fictitious employee information. So I'm now going to access my user one account. And as you can see, at the moment, I cannot see the schema or table because I don't have access to it. So I'll go back to my root account, which is on this tab here, and grant access to user1. So I type grant all, and I type all because I'd like to grant all privileges. If I only wanted to grant select or insert privileges, I would type that here instead but I'll stick to grant all privileges for now. Grant all on the schema name, followed by the table name I would like to grant access to, which will be the emp table in schema one. And then you type to user one at localhost. And as you can see, that has been successful. Now I'll go back to my user1 account, refresh, and now you can see the schema and the table name. If I query the emp table, you can see that it works. I'm now going to go back to my root account and revoke access to the user1 for schema1 Emp. You do that by typing revoke and switch the to to from and execute. And as you can see that was successful with the green tick. So let's go back to my user1 profile, click on refresh and now as you can see I've lost access because the schema and table have gone. And if I go back to my root account and grant access again, click on refresh, and now I've got access once more. So that was just a quick video showing you how to use the grant and revoke command in MySQL Workbench.